Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over Sam Wilson, Captain America, and the Super Adaptoid from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Here's the box for the Falcon Cap, Captain America, Captain America, Legends series over here. New shield, interesting, with wings. Sam Wilson on one side over here with the shield, and on the other side, the same exact thing. Shield emblem on top, and all the legalese you'll ever need on the bottom with the barcode. And on the back, Sam Wilson takes the mantle of Captain America to new heights, combining the iconic shield with signature wings versus threats near and abroad. Nice picture of Falcon Cap over here with the wings. Now let's Take a look at Falcon Cap. I really like this head sculpt for Falcon Cap. It's the same sculpt we've seen from before with the previous figure. The goggles are really neat. I like the skin tone as well. I think it's a little darker on the ear though. Get some silver over there, kind of overspray painting on that. The other side's pretty okay. The hair is printed all right, but the sculpt and texture is really nice over here too. White on the back with a little bit of brownish, whatever this is over here. Kind of weird. Back and forth with some swivel over here and a little bit of pivot for this really nice Falcon Cap head. The body looks nice too. I do like these silver things in the sides they're pretty cool going down to the back with some blue striping and some nice blue over here as well the red's a little muted the blue's a little bit brighter than usual it's nice over here this fist over here as well as a holding hand for the shield and this little arrow down here very nice on that back and then forward and a swivel over here you also get up this far and down and all the way around with the swivel over there double joint elbow working out pretty nice on that with a swivel and then hinge up and down and then for this one you get a hinge up and down as well with a swivel with this nice falcon cap body it's pretty good the legs are the same blue there are some pockets and stuff over here as well with some shields guards for his knees as well as nice boots with indents in them pretty cool could use the wash maybe i don't know laced boots too you get out this far and in and up pretty far and then back just okay and all the way back is pretty solid over here as well you just swivel over here swivel down there and down and up and then a pivot with two pickles upon the feet looking really nice with all that legal ease over there the back is pretty fine for here as well Nice figure, looks really cool, solid, falcon cap so far. He also comes with a splay down hand, you get a swivel and then a hinge over here. Nice sculpting and pretty gummy fingers over here. On this side we get a swivel and then opposite hinge for this hand, looking pretty nice. It probably work well with the shield and it's good. The shield in question is two interlocking arrows, the chunk out of this one, chunk out of that one for the triangle. At least we do get a nice circle around here, a little paint chip over there, that's a shame. Nice blue over here, not really my favorite shield though, I don't know, I like the other one better. It's kind of well in his hand too, kind of gummy as well. And for storage, you just place it into the peg in his back. It works out fine. No, I'm not using the clip. Go away. He also comes with whatever this is. This could be Red Wing, his sort of falcon companion. There is some sort of like weird stuff on the bottom though. Not sure what that is. Could be damage or whatever. It looks nice. I like how it looks. The peg is interesting though. You do have these pieces that fit the wings on them. Let's try them out. Getting this piece and clipping it on is very simple. Just make sure it's the one going inwards with the one going inwards like this. It doesn't really fit though all that well. I have to really use a lot of strength in that to get this to go. Come on, there we go. Clipping this is really difficult. It also does have a hinge up and down that is really ratchety and looks really cool. I like this. You could also go in and then out this far with this piece, working out pretty nice for this, and it does come off. So just be careful with that. Yeah, it doesn't want to really work as well as it is. There was a click, so that works, I guess. And saving you all the pain and suffering, here it is on his back, and there we go. This is awesome. Awesome. I love how this thing looks. It's really nicely done. The wings are huge and giant. They can help shield him or just, you know, cover fire or whatever. It's pretty nice. Kind of like a little hug over here. I like how this looks actually. It's really nice. I don't know if I don't like how there could be another hinge over here. That is a missed opportunity. Could have been great to really cover him. This is just okay in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think about this. It's kind of weird to me, honestly. I can't really get a good wing spread out of this. And yeah, it's just a lot of junk to me. In a way, winged characters never been my biggest fan of because there's such a wide wingspan. You can't really put it on the shelf or anything next to anybody, knock everybody off. But it looks nice and it's really cool conceptually. And when you have him all kitted out, he actually looks pretty cool. I might do some kit bashing with the previous figure to make my perfect Falcon Captain America, but so far this is nice. Falcon Cap stands at about six and a quarter inches tall, and the wingspan is about I would say 14 inches long or so. Here is Falcon Cap next to the previous Falcon Cap, and I like the color scheme of this one. A little bit more. Maybe I'll do some kit bashing here and there to make my perfect one. But alas, here's Jesse Heck Creative. This segment was not sponsored by Red Bull. Yeah, guys, I don't think I'll ever get a sponsor. Hope that jinxes it. <laughs> 
Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and hit the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Here is the huge box, the BEYOND box, the biggest box for the Super Adaptoid. Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest Marvel Legends series, Super Adaptoid over here, comic book art, and the figure looking cool! We have the Super Adaptoid on one side with a logo over here, and on the other side is basically the actual size of the figure. Wow, it's huge. On the top we have the Avengers 60 Years of Earth's Mightiest, and on the bottom we have a bunch of legalese and barcodes and plastic free packaging that doesn't really matter at this time. And on the back we have the Super Adaptoid with a hammer, a shield, and cool posing, I guess, at 11.7 inches tall. Jeez, that's crazy for this figure. Now let's take a look at it. The Super Adaptoid. The head sculpt for the Super Adaptoid isn't really that interesting. The eyes aren't painted that well. This W is kind of weird. I don't know if it's Wasp or Hawkeye, whoever. I'm not sure who these belong to, these weird fins on the head. The head, it really is just ultimately uninteresting. There's nothing really right home about on it. You can go back pretty far, forward pretty far. You get a swivel as well and a pivot. These are really kind of gummy in a way and the eyes aren't really painted that well yeah it's just a strange head sculpt to me the body sculpt is mostly captain america with a little bit of iron man over here i like the color scheme it's pretty interesting we get a nice dark color green with an even lighter color green than a very light color green very pale we get the star over here with captain america we get big fins over here as well the belt's really interesting be the only part that's black with some nice pouches over here and a nice buckle we also have these huge fins they're huge i'm telling you articulation's fine you get up and down and then all the way around the swivel over here as well for the double jointed elbow doesn't really work as well as it probably should swivel over here swivel over there up and down hinge then a side to side hinge on this part with a sort of swivel over here i think kind of not really not that great at all back really far forward really far belt's pretty floaty and it's a nice body sculpt for captain america or at least the super adaptoid yeah it's weird the legs are a weird part of the figure i kind of like how they look but they could be broken up with the different color greens like up here he just lost the budget or something on this. I don't know. The boots are interesting with these little pleated parts or whatever they're called. Little M's. I don't know. Little jester looking things. I'm not sure. Go out really far. Kind of an up. An up pretty far and back. All the way back over here is pretty nice actually. This swivel over here. Swivel down there. Then a down and then an up and then a pivot over here with two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. They're kind of like cleats or something. Pretty nice over here. It's an overall decent figure with a strange head. This is a really weird anomaly. Super Adaptoid comes with a green Mjolnir Thor's hammer. There's some weird white portions on it that look kind of like strange. The hilt is done in a gray as is this. It's a nice color. Works out pretty well. It's kind of boring. Really light too. Kind of cheaply made honestly. It's weird. Also the shield is pretty neat. I like how the colors are used here with the darker lighter 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 use more of those please on the back it's the way light color with sort of darker green straps they will need to be seen if they work or not i've been hearing things about this but it's a good shield i like it in green actually it looks really cool one thing i would have loved to see though are wings here and here or so i might put them in on my own but yeah it's a missed opportunity getting the hammer in the hand is going to be pretty interesting I'm just going to pry that grip open put the hammer in and yeah it's in yippee it's a hammer yeah i don't know not too great and just strange honestly anyway, in order to get your Super Adaptoid ready for the shield, you need to take off this arm piece first and then this hand piece over here. I'll explain later. Then place this piece here and just sort of let it just chill for a little bit. It isn't really going anywhere as of yet. Then open up the hand and put a finger in there to kind of make sure it stays open a little bit. Then while it's open all the way, grasp it around this piece and have it hang over a little bit. Then you want to put this on and then you want to finally put it in a little bit and then put it on right here kinda and it works yeah it's a really ad hoc way to get this done but I gotta say it isn't that bad actually it looks nice on the figure but if you want to have both the hammer and the shield on the figure at the same time take off these pieces as before and then place this one back on here here very gel gently delicately try to get that on there it should fit and sit pretty well you're gonna lose a bit of articulation when doing this but just be careful then pinch this over here and then sort of make a little hole and just shove this piece in there shove it in it's gonna work out fine yeah it kind of does actually and looks pretty nice too getting that in there is pretty much a snap and yeah now you have your figure kitted out with this it looks pretty cool also and now that you have the super adaptoid kitted out with hammer and shield it is a four 
force to be reckoned with. It just needs wings though. Seriously Hasbro, you couldn't put some green ones in there? Come on. And the Super Adaptoid stands at about 11 and a half, 11 and a quarter inches tall or so next to, next to Falcon Cap, Scientist Supreme, and Captain Marvel. This figure is so huge it might as well be two Captain Americas tall almost. And just for fun, the wings are a little bit taller than the Super Adaptoid when spread out. This is insane, a really big figure. It's actually pretty cool I think. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Mom said it's my turn to use the shield. I'm going to bargaining. Overall, Cap versus Adapt. Falcon Cap is a really good figure. I like the accessories more than the figure itself. The blue isn't really that great for me, but the wings are super cool and all the updates are great. Super Adaptoid is nice, but he could use more. More accessories, maybe another head or something, but yeah, this figure really needs wings. I'm at least glad I could find workarounds to give him both accessories because he really looks good using them. If you're a fan of Captain America, the Avengers, or the Super Adaptoid, then you'll love these figures. They're pretty cool. But if not, then I would highly wait on clearance for both, seeing as you can kit bash this Captain America with the previous one and Super Adaptoids already going on clearance already. But make no mistake, no matter how good these figures can be, they're both still reuse. So which figure here is your favorite? Falcon Cap or Super Adaptoid? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.